So here at the MHL booth, uh, what are you showing in this corner? Um, uh, what we're showing here is basically MHL technology uh, in the automotive space. Um, uh, in addition to TVs, smartphones, and different CE applications, automotive manufacturers are also very interested in uh, integrating the smartphone into the automotive infotainment system. Uh, and they're very excited about the MHL technology, uh, simply because it provides them with the uncompressed video um, a solution that is very robust. Um, you know, consumers have all their personal content, their contacts, music, photos, movies, uh, all in their smartphone. They want to be able to use that and see that uh, in the car as well. And what this demonstration shows, this is a uh, demonstration from uh, Harman. Uh, they actually spent a lot of money uh, on this demo. And what it shows is what their vision of the future connected car looks like. Okay, And it integrates the control in the head unit as well as the rear seat entertainment system uh, in the back seat. So their vision is that, uh, is that they will be able to use the um, center console uh, in the front seat uh, to be able to use this control here while you're driving, but at the same time manage the entertainment that your kid sitting in the back seat uh, is, is doing, right? They could be looking at videos, they could be looking at playing games, uh, similar to this approach, but all around using a smartphone to provide the entertainment uh, 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 and applications um, you know, from a smartphone. So they believe MHL is a major part of the uh, driving entertainment system of the future. So how does that uh, feature MHL in here? How does that work? So one of the things that we are showcasing, uh, some it, it's really a, a vision, a, a concept, where MHL uh, normally is a dis uh, mobile to display connectivity. There's also a vision of using MHL technology right, for the internal connection between the center console in the car and the rear seat entertainment, which is something hidden uh, from the consumer itself. So it's an internal connection within the car using the MHL technology. right? And it's really great because MHL 3.0 has video. It can also support single source to multiple display connectivity. So uh, one to many display connectivity, that's part of MHL 3.0 uh, specification. It's a feature it's already in there. Nice. So for example, when you had the laptop, you could have an HDMI output from the laptop and uh, have a, an external external yeah. screen. That's right. That's right. So, so this could be, this essentially, the center console could be a source like a smartphone. Okay. Yeah. Um, but it can output one single video. The single video can drive multiple displays, independent displays. So it could be driving, you know, a game on this console and a movie on this little screen right here, all using one single source. Okay. Awesome. And that's what MHL 3.0 will be able to do. Okay. All right. Okay. In this demo here is another automotive product. That this product here is a. Hang on. This product here is a. Um, uh, Pioneer app radio. Uh, this is a um, aftermarket product already in production. Let me kind of start running in. Okay, sorry about that. Okay. Okay. So what this product is is um, is a radio that you can buy today. Okay, it's out in the market and you can start it in your car. Okay, and this has an MHL. Uh, capability built in into the radio. So what you could do with the MHL phone directly connected to the radio, you essentially will be able to mirror all your applications, your music, your contact information onto the automotive in-dash display. So when you're driving, you don't have to fuss around with your smartphone uh, to get navigation, to get GPS uh, mapping function. You work directly from a screen here, right? So that's great because when you're driving around trying to muck around with your smartphone, that creates driver distraction and safety issues. Now you actually access your smartphone directly from this. Uh, so this display. UI, uh, the user, the phone, we need to know the app to use, or is there any way that it could be automatic? You just connect and say, "Oh, I didn't know I had that in my phone." Oh, what you happens know? is the way it works is I want you to buy the app radio uh, to from uh, Pioneer. They will ask you to download an application on Android to support their radio. So it'll say on the screen or something. It'll say once it's connected, you enable that app. It, create, it opens up a new user interface, which you see right here. So as soon as you connect, it'll pop up something, no yes. matter what. Well, you have to enable an app. Right? Okay. When you get in a car, you connect the phone 
to this screen, uh, to this display, you you know, touch your application, their app, uh, Pioneer App Radio application, yeah. it launches a brand new user interface, and that will include all the application that you want to use while you're driving. Yeah. Okay. Nice. And that includes your mapping, your contact, calendar, photos, um, you know. And, and cars are shipping with this? Oh, this is an aftermarket product. You will be able to purchase it today and install it in your car. So how many people have this so far? Oh, I don't know exactly how many people has it. We don't have that number. So I know there's about 40 to 50 models of uh, aftermarket radios with MHL support from Pioneer, JVC, Kenwood, Sony, already selling. 40 to 50 different models. That's right. But they're all aftermarket. How about pre-installed in cars? How many? Pre-installed in cars is coming. It's okay. coming. Typically, it takes about three, I would say four to five years before a new technology get pre-installed in a car. So 2010, um, you know, MHL was introduced. Um, we believe before, you know, 2015 model year, we will be able to pre-order MHL install namely to the car navigation system.